So now let us study Newland's law of octaves. The attempts of the Dobriner encouraged other chemists to correlate the properties of elements with their atomic masses. In 1866, John Newlands, an English scientist, arranged the then known elements in the order of increasing atomic masses, same like that of the Dobriner. He started with the element having the lowest atomic mass, which is the hydrogen, and ended at thorium, which was the 56th element. He found that every eighth element had properties similar to that of the first. So he compared this to the octaves found in the music. A part of the original form of Newland's octaves is this. You can see in this table, the musical notes are being given. Sa re ga ma pa dha ni. E, or in the English counterpart, that is the do re mi fa so la ti. Similarly, see here. Hydrogen, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. Then comes the fluorine under the group of sa. Then fluorine, sodium, magnesium goes on, sulfur and then chlorine comes under the group S. So you can see that every after the eighth element, the property is being repeated and hence it is being put in the same group. See, every coin has got two sides, one positive and one negative. Let us take the case. Similarly, this octave also has got two sides, the positive which we have discussed, that is, he could identify many of the elements and could group them accordingly. Now the negative ones. It is found that the law of octaves was applicable only up to the calcium. As after calcium, every eight element did not possess the property similar to that of the first. So this means that the elements up to calcium, it followed the octaves that is it repeated after eight element. But after calcium, what has happened is that the octave or the rule which Newland has found was not being satisfied. Next, it was assumed by Newland that only 56 elements existed in nature and no more elements would be discovered in the future. But later on, several new elements have been discovered whose properties did not match or did not fit into the law of octaves. Next. In order to fit the elements into the table which I have shown, Newland adjusted two elements in the same slot, but also put the some unlike elements under the same note. We have seen that cobalt and nickel are in the same slot and these are placed in the same column as fluorine, chlorine and bromine which have very different properties than that of the elements, right. Then the iron which resembles cobalt and nickel in the properties has been placed far away from these elements.